Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S3 and how you can transfer videos and pictures from your from your Galaxy S3 to your computer because I know uh, I've been trying for a while just to plug my Samsung Galaxy S3 in by USB like I would my old Blackberry and you would have on the old Blackberry it would say, it would say pictures, videos, um, ringtones right on the screen and on this one it is so difficult why is Android so difficult you should be able to even when I plug in my iPod it allows you it brings up and says pictures video it does not say well you have to do this setting and that setting and as you can see right here I plugged it in and over here it says phone or memory card and I put it and I clicked it on um, up here at the top it says card and you have to click on this file right here the DCIM file and you double click it and it's going to bring up the camera and it's going to bring this up and you have to and I was told because I researched it online you have to title your videos with this sort of title so your videos will be recognized by your computer and make sure on your Samsung Galaxy S3 when you go here that your con your uh, connected to the media device allows you to transfer media files to Windows or use Android file transfer on Mac because they say your your uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 will automatically register it as a camera and if it's on the camera setting it, your computer is not going to read it and I know a lot of people will say instead of using the USB cable this use uh, Dropbox but honestly guys who wants to use Dropbox every time they want to upload let's say a 1080p video to their computer or whatever because um, that's what I do I make a lot of vlogs and I want my videos to just be transferred to the computer very easily without wirelessly transferring it through Dropbox and just have it where I can watch my videos or put them in the video editor and edit them together because I don't like wirelessly transferring like 20 clips or something that I took in throughout the day. I'm going to show you step by step what I did. You plug it in here. Your computer is going to read this and then it's going to bring up this and it's going to bring up this and make sure when you uh, turn it on you scroll down and make sure you when you click connect make sure you because mine's not connected right now so I hit connect to media device you should see this folder pop up and it should automatically bring this up on the screen Sorry for the horrible quality. I'm just recording this off my iPod Touch at 720p. And then um, what you should be able to do is have your card or this. And if you're all your stuff's on your memory card, if this works properly, like I just did, camera. And then my videos are right here, my videos and some pictures. But because the funny thing is, because I have my phone still my memory card still has my blackberry on it if you click here those videos and all my pictures from the blackberry show but it doesn't show the thumbnail it just shows uh like blacked out kind of but hopefully that helped you guys with transfer because i've been looking on youtube for a long time and not a lot of people have actually showed you how to do it. They show you how to wirelessly transfer from the, like your Samsung Galaxy S3 to... It's funny, my girlfriend has a uh, Motorola Droid Razor and I could plug her phone into my computer and videos and pictures and ringtones pop right up like in the folder. It just says pictures, videos, ringtones and I can open the folder up and drag and drop it. Why did Samsung make it so difficult to uh, upload. I think all cell phones and mobile devices should do this. If you want to be able to transfer your music and videos to your computer, 
it should just be like the Blackberry um, that I have. You all, you basically put it in the computer, and it will basic the computer will basically say, "Oh, here's pictures, ringtones, videos, music," and that's all you need to know when you click on that uh, folder for video. All the videos on your memory card show up. All the ringtones show up when you click on that ringtone folder. But on this phone, you have to go to settings. You have to uh, make sure it's on uh, mobile device or mobile storage and all this other kind of shit. And you have to go to the, like I said, the. You click on the memory card. And you have to go to the D C I M folder, which the average person is not technologically. Uh, tech savvy so when they see this they're like how the fuck do you put pictures and videos from my computer onto the phone that's what I was having a problem with uh but hopefully that guy's helped you out because it really pissed me off for the last like week searching and searching and searching and you don't find nothing so I thought I would just do a, a quick video hopefully this helped you guys out because I'm trying to do a uh, real real uh, talk and help you guys out because I know a lot of people really want to transfer videos and pictures from their computer or from their Samsung Galaxy S3 to their computer not just wirelessly doing it through like Dropbox or Google Drive or anything like that so if this video was a little uh, misunderstood I'm sorry but I just try to get my point across that that's how you wirelessly tran or that's how you use the USB cable to transfer videos from your Samsung Galaxy S3 to your uh, computer so with that said rate even if you hate comment and subscribe and i'll definitely see you guys in the next video bye bye